This Alexa Flash Briefing is sponsored by Team Automotive Group. Hello everyone from WAP Channel 9. I'm Matt Williams with those Friday headlines. Congratulations, you've made it to it. Sun is rising over South Louisiana and you're going to want to know about this forecast. We're going to get to it in a quick minute. Man, it is crazy over the next five, six, seven, ten days kind of thing. So yeah, stick around for that. Want to get you out the door with some of the stuff we're following for you this morning though. Actually speaking of this morning, this happened just this morning about 430. Baton Rouge Fire Department called out to this home, uh, a house fire out there. This is actually the 2700 block of Bartlett Street. It's kind of near Choctaw Drive. If you know that part of the world, just after four o'clock this morning. Now, actually, our, our crew got out there, our Brandon Shackelford got out there very quickly in time to see the very good news about this. Everybody got out just fine. Actually, some of the folks, some of the homeowners actually standing outside, dog made out, it was three of them, uh, a pup made it out as well. Here's the thing, uh, Baton Rouge Fire Department had to put some water on this, obviously, to knock out a, a fire that they say was caused by an electrical malfunction behind the stove, and so, that's the cause, but again, the water damage, the smoke damage out of the home now. Red Cross doing what they can as they always do. We'll keep you uh, in the know here, but also had to work this one. This is a fire from last night. Do you know uh, this part of the world? This is actually Blue Ridge Drive, 1800 block of Blue Ridge Drive, kind of near Old Hammond Highway and, and Sherwood, if you know that part of the world as well. Again, last night, Thursday night, and what they're saying, it was a water heater that sparked this house fire and it displaced eight people. Now. To their credit, FD, fire department, got this fire under control really pretty quickly in just pretty much that, that closet area. But again, it is smoke and water damage putting these folks out. Red Cross, once again, doing what they can. From that to this, why don't you put your eyes here. Uh, Gonzalez police have now identified four people they say are now wanted for attempted murder. Now this goes back to, uh, in Gonzalez, something that happened, a shooting in November, a daiquiri shop out there in Gonzales. Uh, they finally kind of put some of these pieces together here. What they're saying is it's multiple people involved here firing off some shots, and they have now said these four guys are wanted for attempted murder. So again, we've got uh, names and faces, that kind of thing. So social media, do your thing. Uh, share this around, see if we can't help them out. You can call Gonzalez Police or, as always, it's Crime Stoppers at 344-STOP. Okay, let's spin it around a little bit. Let's talk about some good stuff. Big Buddy, one of the great programs in our part of the world, all over uh, this country, in fact, doing some good things, connecting Big Buddies to Little Buddies, trying to do what they can to mentor the younger generation, bring them up, show them a few things, maybe get them going down a, a particular path or just Open, opening their eyes to, to paths they never knew were there or available to them. Our Jacques Doucet, clearly you can see him right there, a big buddy. He's just, I mean, everybody's big buddy. Jacques is just amazing. But how do you become a big buddy to a little buddy? Our Callie Hubbard was live this morning talking about exactly what's going on. It's, it's big buddy, it's like National Mentoring Month. And actually next week is in particular National Mentoring Day, one of the days next week. And so it really is a day they fo focus in on getting some big buddies to be mentors. And look, I know, it's, I, I don't have that much time to commit. How much time would I have to commit? They can match you and your time available with a little buddy that that's gonna work for. And they match kind of um, your personality with their personality as well. You know what, if you want some more information, it's all waiting for you right there. Kelly Hubbard put together the good story. Go ahead and check that out. Hey, good win huh, for LSU women's basketball last night on the court. That's where our Jacques Doucet was last night, live in Tuscaloosa, following the Lady Tigers out there following a loss, which is not very common over the last few years for LSU women's basketball. But yeah, they were coming off a loss. They handled it nicely. It was a close game for a half. And, and we talked about yesterday, figured that would be the way it would be. Alabama come out good and strong trying to take down the reigning champs, and then LSU would figure it out. I, just angry with themselves, with how they played prior, and then channeling that energy, channeling that anger, and they did. Waxed them by 20 points at the back end. And so now they get to spin this into some momentum, hopefully. They got some big games to come. You can read that full story waiting for you right there. Speaking of big time, LSU Gymnastics, one of the big time programs over the last how many, I mean, how many years? Years and years and years. And all they've done this year is take on like ranked teams. Just lost to top ranked Oklahoma, but also took down second ranked Utah and 12th ranked UCLA at the same time. It was a quad meet last week. Tonight, they're back home on the PMAC floor, taking on sixth ranked Kentucky. It's like nothing but top teams for the Tigers right now. It's going to be packed out there at the PMAC. It should be. It's a late start, you know, even for gymnastics. It's 8 o'clock. Yeah, I think it's because it's on the SEC network, which it often is anyway because it is LSU. But if you're going to get out there, 8 o'clock start time, LSU and Kentucky, they're getting after it. Hey, 
Speaking of what's happening tonight, Pelicans on the home floor taking on the Suns, looking to get a little win streak going and stop the Suns three game win streak. Again, back on the floor tonight, 7 o'clock. But you can watch it on BXH, WBXH. And actually, if you find this story, we got a, a, a list of all the different where you can find them if you're off the antenna, Cox, uh, AT&T, Dish, all the channels that are your WBXH so that you can watch your Pelicans. Again, it's tonight at home taking on the Phoenix Suns. So that's tonight, and uh, we're going to be going through a few changes as tonight and tomorrow morning show up. I want to give you a look right now at the moment just past the 7.30 half hour. This is what you're walking out into. Beautiful sunrise over South Louisiana. That's our Children's Hospital right there. But this is our reality as we move into the weekend. The freezes are back. The hard freezes are back. Watches and warnings for much of South Louisiana. Look at the 10 day forecast. It really tells quite the story. You can see obviously Saturday and Sunday for those who can see the video, the lows right there at 24 degrees. And then we warm up. I mean, a big time warm up. Look at the lows, look at the highs. But you also see what comes with that. El Nino, right? Playing, uh, playing a big role with all this. Apparently the rain is back. We're going to have to watch some of these totals. But that's a lot to get to. So let's take it day at a time. Enjoy your Friday. Get ready for some cold, cold weather this weekend. See you next time. Sponsored by Team Automotive Group.